right. It's been, oh man, it feels like it's been a really long time since I've made an update video. Um, I've had a really, really busy last few days, weeks, I don't even know. I don't even know how long it's been. Um, so I've kind of updated people on Facebook, not, not as much, um, just because I've got like one goal and one focus in my mind right now, and that is moving to the States. So all that's been set in motion. As you can probably see, I'm in a different location right now. Um, you might be able to see, you might not be able to see. I've got different stuff around me. Um, I am staying with a friend. I have moved out and, uh, um, Logan is with his mom. Um, I think it's only been a few days since we've split up and moved out, but it feels like longer because I've got like I've got suitcases and suitcases and clothes and stuff. Like the whole side of the room there is just covered in my shit that needs to be fucking packed and put away. And see if I can show it. <laughs> I don't know how much it's showing, but I've got so much stuff. And then all my shit's downstairs as well. That's gonna have to be shipped over. So I've got a lot of work ahead of me. But obviously everything is in motion. I am out of my old house. Logan and I are no longer living together. And, um, yeah, uh, now it's just still trying to get together the money for the ticket. It's actually not a lot. Like it, it seems a hell of a lot cheaper than I ever thought, but it's still hard because you know, still got bills to pay and things to buy and things like that. And I need to, we're going to get divorced. We'll try to start the divorce process and, um, I need to get a copy of my birth certificate before I leave just so I can have my identity you know situated by the time I get over there and then it's about around about a thousand US for a ticket which altogether isn't that much but here it's it's more like 1500 close to 1500 you know it goes up and it goes down and then taxes and then I'm gonna have to pay for excess baggage because until I can send for my stuff I'm gonna have to be living out of suitcases essentially what I'm bringing and um it's a lot of stuff to sort, but it is happening. And, um, Josh and I are thinking I'll probably be over there latest mid September could be even August. Not really sure yet, but as soon as the opportunity comes to go sooner then I'll be going sooner. Um, just the chance hasn't come up yet, but he and I are still doing amazing we talk like all day every day sometimes a little bit less because I'm, I'm handling the move I have to you know take Logan to the house I've got to sell off some stuff I've got to just back and forth back and forth and because of that um, it cuts into our time a bit but I take him with me wherever I go I, I am I'm always on voice call with him and whenever he's free and stuff and we just talk all the time um, still really close still doing really good uh, being long distance is a bit hard because, you know, you want nothing more than to be with the other person and you can't and it's really frustrating. It's just, it's just like this, this need that you have that you can't get rid of, like you, like an itch you can't scratch. It's just, you, you've got this feeling of like anxiety, like there's something you need to do or something you need to handle and you can't because it's, it's such a process. You can't just snap your fingers and be with the one you want to be with. And that kind of, it kind of sucks sometimes. Um, I mean, it's all, it's all good to be in a long distance relationship if you've got no real plan on being with them in person. But when you've got a real plan to be with them in person, it, it makes it quite hard. Um, but just wait. And then in a few months, I'll be there and this will all be in the past and, and uh it'll be good so um everything's still going really great as far as that goes um not much else to report on i i haven't like, taken any pictures or really done anything because like literally i wake up i talk to him and i talk to him throughout whatever i'm doing in the daytime and then i talk to him until he goes to bed and then shortly after that i go to bed and that's my entire day uh People have asked, like, if I'll film my journey over there, and I will definitely, because I, I will run remember it as well. So I will film, like, going to the airport that day, that morning waking up. I'll, I'll probably film when I get the ticket, 
when I board the plane at the airport and then on the plane, if I can do it without being so scared because I don't like talking in front of people um, or at the airport when I land and I'm waiting in between air airports and definitely have, his brother is supposed to film when I get off the plane and I meet him for the first time. So we'll have all that and we'll have all that uploaded and then whatever we do together in the States, we will upload and updates and things like that. And then he and I will have a proper introduction video together because he doesn't mind being on camera and being part of my life, obviously. So that's going to be great as well because I can finally have somebody that will like be right here with me the whole time and I won't be by myself. So, um... I'm really looking forward to that, just being able to stick a camera in his face whenever I want and not having him get upset at me or, you know, be a mopey. He'll love it because he's like me. <laughs> and um, I'm in the middle of cooking, so I'm going to go finish cooking. I just, I kept telling myself to sit down and make this video and I just never found the time. So in the middle of my night, I'm just stopping and making this video. Just to let you guys know everything's still progressing is actually progressing beyond just speaking because of the fact that I've moved and um, uh, tomorrow I do have a my second makeup appointment for my tattoo. I know this is the worst time in the world to be paying for a tattoo but I've got a half finished nun on my arm that wasn't able to be done. This appointment was booked in before I ever moved out of here before the plans were kind of set in motion. And so um, something happened and she had to cancel and rebook me. So the, the day for that is finally here tomorrow. So I'm going to go do that. And um, if you follow the assholes that hate me, you'd probably see me getting mocked for the fact that I said that I was going to do a birthday tattoo for Josh. And um, I don't really care. I don't really care what anybody says or thinks. Um, I'm going to get a tattoo for him on my finger for his birthday. It's just going to be his name just across there. Pretty small, but um, I, d I will have to cover up my Logan tattoos, you know, um, over time. Um, I just thought it was a sweet gesture to offer him and he really, really appreciated it. And um, so I'm going to do that. And the way I see it is I've given up half my shit. I've given up my house, my marriage, everything. I didn't give up my marriage. It was mutual. Logan has said many times, I didn't want to be married anymore. I didn't want to be married anymore. He, he didn't want the responsibilities or the drama. He is so against all the drama that he, he'll yell at me now if I try to bring it up or say something or I mention something in passing and he like, I don't want to fucking hear it. And I'm just glad to be out of that. Like he's, he's being kind of a dick about it in my opinion. Um, because just because he's not with me anymore it doesn't mean the drama has stopped for either of us i mean there's they're still going to be honest forever and i know it was my fault or whatever but you know i didn't enter that relationship by myself so i don't think i should i should carry the full burden blame um because he could have left at any time he really could have and he didn't now now it's over so um he still tells me that he loves me and things like that and i mean we still we're still close. Uh, we still talk pretty much every day. He texts me, asks me how my day was, tells me that he misses me, tells me that he loves me. Sometimes I give him a ride to work, pick him up, buy him food or whatever. So, I mean, we still, we're still close, um, but it's changed now that we're not living together. Um, and now he, he really has no reason to put up with all the bullshit. So he doesn't want to, and he's not, he's not going to, but I've given up so much stuff to be with Josh and I'm going to go over there with him. The plan is for us to get married, you know, when we can, we're going to be together. I'm going to be living with him. So what's a tattoo? I mean, I've got enough. It's not like, oh my God, there's one tattoo and it's this guy's name. You know, it's one of probably many that me and him will get because he wants to get more anyway. Maybe not many for me because I don't really have the space left, but, um, I'm, I'm not, I refuse to be bullied or ashamed because I'm going to get a fucking tattoo for him. Um, I don't know, uh, the hate sites have like, fucking been on us like crazy and I don't know, we don't care. I don't care. I really don't. 
and he doesn't care and um so it's all good but uh i don't want to go into that topic because i could go on for fucking hours um there has been some drama with that not for a while it probably is on their page but i haven't gone i've got i've got so much shit going on i'm not gonna fucking go see what those dumbasses have to say or what they're gonna assume or what they're gonna do or whatever um i will say because they think i'm not gonna bring it up or if i bring it up i'm gonna be bullshitting I, i've got nothing to bullshit about i don't know who the fuck they think they're fucking with but um they got into some private videos I had because what I did is I I upload um, a screen record of Josh when we're having our conversations. It's for me, only for me, because I miss him and I like seeing his face. I think he's beautiful just because he's normal looking. And he's not goth doesn't mean a goddamn thing to me. They think I'm using him because he's not goth, which is a load of bullshit because what the fuck am I using him for? Every time he's offered to send me money, I've told him no. And he'll, he'll vouch for that as well. Um, I don't want his money. I just want to be with him. You know, I don't, I don't want anything from him like that. And I don't care if he's not goth or alternative. He's beautiful to me. And that's all that matters. And so they made fun of me for saying that he was beautiful. They think that I'm shallow. Um, what attracted me to him was his smile, first of all. And then his attitude, his intelligence. And then I saw him on camera. And he just so happened to be gorgeous on top of everything else. So whatever you know and um uh they just they went so far overboard they actually got screenshots of his house i i never even listed his address and they got screenshots of his house they got my old address which i'm not there anymore so it doesn't really matter and um they got a hold of the private videos that i made just of our conversation and while at most it sucks to have my private conversation out there just because it's a it's intimate shit we're talking about. Not sex, just, oh, I love you. Oh, I love you so much. You know, I want to be with you. Like that kind of gushy shit. You know, you kind of don't want everybody to see that. But they also got one where his ex-girlfriend had been all over my videos saying that he cheated, he cheated, he cheated. I thought he and I were going to break up that day because there was a possibility he cheated. You know, he was a cheater. And he told me, he told me to record the conversation between him and her. I've forgotten that he told me that, but he, he told me, no, remember I told you fucking record this shit. So I was like, okay. And I did. Um, so I have the whole conversation, um, between him and her. Uh, she doesn't like that he moved on and he, she couldn't understand how two people could be as close as we are having known each other for not that long. So in her mind, he had cheated on her. They had been apart for almost a year. She couldn't get it through her head. And so she was trying to split us up. And I'm um, being the vengeful, petty, stupid girlfriend, you know, ex-girlfriend. They haven't been together in a really long time. And I do trust him. I, I really trust him. And um, when he confronted her about it, she had nothing to say. Like, she kept hanging up on him. She had nothing to say. And she finally admitted um, that she he did not cheat. Um, what shows on that video is a lot of personal stuff because I was just browsing around on my own Facebook, my own pages, my own favorites. And I logged into Logan's account. Now, Logan had his own account. When people started writing him, including his family, friends, didn't matter. He told me, I can't be bothered writing back. Can you say something? I can't be fucked. I said, what do you want me to say? And he would either tell me what to say or he'd tell me to make something up. You know, you know me, you know what I would say, just fucking write it. Okay. So I did. So most of the time when people would write him, he would tell me to reply. So I did. And she wrote him. And when she wrote him, I replied using stuff that he had already told me. Like he said that he wasn't good enough for me. He couldn't be a good husband. He, I deserve better. You know, every word I spoke to her about he and my relationship were words he had already spoken to me. So I didn't make up shit to make him look bad. I said what he had already said and if he was here i would have him vouch for it but then i'd be accused of of making him say it because apparently he can't think for himself i don't care if you believe me or not he, i said only what he had already told me and so she was writing logan asking how long me and josh have been together blah 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 just to see if he had cheated and i tried to talk to her be nice to her as logan or whatnot and it came out that no he didn't cheat she tried to show screenshots of when they were happy back in like 2015 like 
is that supposed to make me want to leave him because he had a relationship before me? I know about her. He told me. Uh, as long as he didn't cheat or lie to me, which he didn't, she's got no case. And so she doesn't have a case. And um, she added Logan and, you know, all this shit, whatever. And I think they went to her and told her that it was me she was talking to. And they went to Logan's mom and told her. And it's like, and I said, you know, whatever, because Logan told me, yeah, my mom found out she was talking to you some of the time. And I was like, okay, you know, what difference does it make? You told me to. It's not like I fucking snuck onto his account. Sometimes people do that. And uh, most of the time, he doesn't feel like talking to people, so I would talk. So they were thinking, oh, imagine if her followers knew she did that. And it's like, okay, whatever. I did it, so fucking what? And uh, I have a conversation with some friends, and I have a bunch of favorites, and all my favorites are people that have abused me or stalked me or talk shit about me. And so occasionally I would go by and check on them, make sure they're not talking shit about me. We stalk each other, I guess, except that I don't post about them. They post about me. And I had Emily on there, but as I had said many times, uh, without Lulcal and the stalkers involved, I actually supported Emily. Um, I had nothing wrong with her. Watch her videos. I'm subscribed to her. She knows this. I told her that. So yeah, I've got her on my favorites because I watch her shit. I mean, what the fuck? Um, I used to like her quite a bit. She's not an enemy of mine. She's just someone that now I kind of can't stand hearing about because every time her name comes up, it's me being accused of trying to be her, which I'm completely fucking not. And um, they just like to pick. They, they just grab shit out of midair and they just try to make an issue out of it. And it's just a load of fucking shit. They've tried ripping Josh apart already because he's not weak and he speaks up for himself. He he can stand up for himself and he can stand up for me and he doesn't get bothered by what they say. And so they know that they can't paint him as a victim like they did with Logan because it turns out a lot of them hate Logan. But if it's versus them hating him or painting him as a victim so they can attack me, they'd rather paint him as a victim. So therefore, he is a victim. Um, Josh, they cannot do that with. He's... 31 years old, he's a man, he knows what he's doing, so he's not a victim, so therefore he's their enemy, and um, that's how that works, but when I get there, we're going to have a real life, and they are going to hate it so much, I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait, they're waiting for my relationship to fail, they don't fucking know, they don't know what we're living through, how we feel, they don't know our plans, they don't know our hopes, our dreams, they don't know how alike he and I are. Nobody knows our relationship but us. I mean, they might have gotten a glimpse through private videos, but a glimpse is a glimpse. And you know what? That was weeks ago. Um, it's already been over a month that he and I have been together and we grow exponentially every, every day, every day, every day something changes. And um, what they thought they knew then is not how we are now with each other. So, you know, good luck with that. And... Um, it's going to work out for us and they're going to be sitting there fucking sucking shit and I'm going to laugh and Josh is going to laugh too because he thinks that they're just as fucking pathetic and um, aside from that there's nothing that they can do to hurt me they can go to Logan, Logan's mom they can go to anybody anybody they want it's not going to affect what me and Josh have they can go to you guys and try to turn you guys against me oh no she was talking as Logan really? So how does that make me such a horrible person when Logan told me to do it? Whatever. Me and him are not together anymore. None of that matters. None of it matters at all. And I'm here admitting it and I really don't care. I don't care about this, that, or the other. All I care about is my future, being happy, and having a real life. I'm not really going to be online much. I will have lots of update videos as far as sitting online. Oh, I can't wait for that day to be over. I can't wait. I would deactivate right now if I could. But that's how he and I keep in contact. And I made him a promise that I'd post on his wall every day. And I would never miss a day in so far. And over a month, I haven't. So we flood each other's walls. Like, what did they say? My haters, what did they say? They called me uh, fucking stupid teenagers. It's not being a teenager to express the way you feel for somebody. It's I think it's romantic. And if you don't like it, don't look at it. And how about you don't add me as a friend? That's kind of a no-brainer. I'm going to add her as a friend, even though I hate everything she does, just so I can talk shit. Uh, and then accuse her of having no life. Like they said that my thread was dead until I dared to post on my YouTube and update about my marriage. Like what the fuck is that even about? Like 
if I had gone to them and said, hey, guess what? Guess what I did? That would be one thing. But to post on my own space about my own life and then be blamed for giving them stuff to talk about? Fuck off with that. All right. I got interrupted actually making the... Uh the end of that video and I, I thought that I paused it and then I continued it because um, somebody was knocking at the door but I actually forgot to unpause it and so I lost the whole end of my video so I figured I'll just wait till today when I'm up and dressed ready to go and then I will finish so this is a I guess just the buy of my video <laughs> um, I'm running I'm almost running late so I've got to go it's tattoo day but um, I just wanted to say Thank you to all my subscribers and fans and the cool people who are watching this next leg of my life journey or whatever. And um, uh, this one is probably the most exciting because this is the one that I'm going into willingly. Like usually when big shit like this happens to me, it's against my will. It's blindsided me. I don't want it. And this time I do want it. And I'm... I'm over the moon, stoked. I can't wait to start a new life with him. And he is just everything I've ever wanted in my entire life. And I know that this is going to be the best, best thing that's ever happened. It's not like, I don't know, it's, it's different than anything else has been. Um, and I don't know. I mean, only time will tell, obviously, but I have full faith in this relationship and the way I feel and the way he feels, and he makes me feel special and loved and beautiful and smart and funny and all the things that everybody else has taken away from me over the years. Like, he's he makes me feel really good about myself, and I'm not really used to that. So, um, I'm not going to let him go no matter what, and I don't think he's going to let me go, so this is going to be awesome. And I guess uh, I'm on my way to get a tattoo, and I will see you guys maybe when I'm done, maybe not. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but um, either way, I'll see you when there's another update, which will be probably ticket time. And until then, just kind of hang on. Don't go anywhere. And um, I'll see you then. Holy cow, I just got back from my appointment. Whoo! Ow. <laughs> So I got my nun finished. I'm just adding this to the video because it, it is an update. And since I wasn't able to upload the video like I wanted to because I, you know, stopped recording earlier, I'm just going to do it now. Um, so I'm a bit worn out because, oh man, it was, it was rough. My finger was awesome. It was like five minutes. Beautiful. So I'm going to show you that first because it's the one I'm the most proud of. So I got Josh's name. I don't know if that's, that shouldn't be upside down to you guys because it's reversed for me. But, um, I don't know how well you can see it. It's in a font. And then I got a little love heart up there. Fuck that hurt up there. She said, cause your nails underneath there or whatever. Um, damn that hurt. The J hurt. Um, but the heart really, really hurt. I think it is absolutely beautiful. I, I love it so much. He loves it so much. I had him on call and he got to watch me getting it done and he was super happy and then I got my nun done so it's like it's like this big fucking piece now what I had under it was really heavy it was solid red solid black of course you're gonna still be able to see through it the nun that I chose I figured because I know pretty much no matter what I chose you're gonna be able to see through it so I figured this hellfire nun you see flames around her behind her it'll kind of go with the whole theme thing um she's not completely done because like you see this red that's around my little reaper thingy i'm gonna have that red behind the nun um haven't done it yet that's not important anybody can do that finishing the nun was what was important because not everybody can do that when artist starts it it's best that they finish it because different artists different techniques and all that junk so it's a solid ass piece now that it is finished. It goes down to my wrist. Um, now, like the snake, those are the scales. I'm not quite sure I like it like that. So I might actually have her fill that in or color it in or something. I'm not quite sure I like that. But um, I'll put it down here. So this is the nun there. And... Uh, 
And then there's that snake that wraps around with her and then her cloak goes down there. And then there's the snake there. And then, ooh. So I'm, that arm looks a little wonky. You probably have to fix that because I can't really see. If I can't really see, I can't really... I think her cloak needs to probably go out around that arm a little bit because that arm is just kind of hanging there because it was a flat picture. See, like that, her hand is there and there. It's like her arm. I think I'm going to have her cover that arm up. That was extended today because of a snake. I, yeah, I don't really like that. But, you know, it's fine. It takes you a while to wear it. That's an easy fix. That and then covering up some of the scales a little bit more to make it a little bit more darker. That's an easy fix as well. But it kind of has a fishnet look to it, which I like. All in all, I think it's a really cool piece and I'm really happy with it. I can't believe it's finally, for the most part, finished. So that was my day today. I'm gurgling, so you'll hear her gurgling. But um, yeah, pretty awesome day. Oh, Josh was so happy. It was, it was so nice seeing like that gigantic smile on his face. And he was just like, oh my God. And, and um, oh, he's going to get... uh. The same one on the same finger with a reverse, you know, uh, thingy. I've still got ink all over. Like, I literally just got it. I haven't even washed it out yet. But um, he loves it. And I'm, I'm so happy because he actually gave me a reaction. He was, like, crazy happy and excited. And it just makes everything I do for him, like, worthwhile because he actually shows me a reaction to it. Unlike most people that I've done shit for, they just kind of, like, yeah, thanks and, and I don't really get anything but with him it's just like he's over the moon and you know it right away and it's just it's just amazing like it's so nice to have somebody to do something for that that just like fucking loves it so I'm I'm really happy I don't regret it at all and I don't really care what anybody says like I said earlier I know it's small but it is on my dominant hand and it is right there Logan's thing here you can you know I'm like this a lot so you don't see it when I had gotten CJ's thing here, I caught it where I could hide it and it was itty bitty. Um, this here is like, boom, right there. And I use this hand all the time, so I can't hide it and I don't want to hide it. Like I look at it and since it's facing me, anytime I write or I look at it, it's just, you know, that's what I'll see is, is his name. And so, and he'll have my name and it's just going to be awesome. I'm so happy. But, um, I'm going to wrap this up and, uh, stuff and stuff and I'll see you guys later.